When we start to look at how atoms and ions react, it's very important that we look at how electronic structure helps us to determine the ionic structure of monoatomic ions. So a monoatomic ion is simply an ion that's formed from a single atom. Mono, one, atomic, atom. And this actually is based all on the atomic structure and the electronic configuration of the original atom. So we're going to take a look at the electron configurations of some of these ions. Um, so I'll give you a moment to go ahead and write these. Now if we look at the electron configurations of each of these, we can identify our valence electrons. This should be review. So we have the 3s1 here, 4s1, 4s2 here, 3s2, and 3p5. So these ones are in group 1a, this is a 2a, and this is 7a. This makes sense. We've got one valence electron, one valence electron, two valence electrons, seven valence electrons. When these form an ion, what they want to do is they want to be like the nearest noble gas. So they either need to lose or gain electrons to be like the nearest noble gas. If we only have one valence electron, the easiest thing to be like a noble gas is just to lose this electron. Same thing for this one. This one, it's got two valence electrons, but we can lose two, so we can lose two. So we're losing one, losing two. In this last example, we have seven. That's a lot of electrons to lose. But if we look on the periodic table, argon is right next to chlorine. It has 18 electrons. Chlorine has 17. So we can just gain one electron, so we can get one electron to become like argon. So this is going to help us to identify how the ions form. When we lose an electron, it's important to remember electrons are negative. That means that when we lose an electron, we're going to subtract a negative 1. So we're actually going to have a charge, and we're going to write it as 1 plus. We write the number first, so we know this is the number of the charges, and the plus sign to tell us that it's a positive charge. We can do the same thing for this one. It's going to be 1 plus, because we're losing one electron. If we lose two electrons, we're subtracting two negatives, so we get a two positive charge. For the chloride or ion, we're going to see it gains an electron, so we're adding a negative one, so it's going to give us a one plus charge. And that's going to help us to identify our monotomic ions. If we look on the periodic table, the noble gases, they don't form ions because they're noble gases, they're not going to react. Everybody wants to be like them, but the noble gases aren't going to form ions. For group 7a elements, the easiest thing to do is just gain an electron. So these all have a negative one charge for the most common ions. Our group 6a is going to gain two electrons. 5a is going to gain three electrons. The elements, the metals, are going to lose an electron. So lose one, lose two, lose three. So notice it's a pattern in the periodic table. We'll talk in a moment about what's happening here in these transition elements what, and how we tell what the charge will be on those monoatomic ions. I do suggest that when you look at the periodic table that you use for this class that you go ahead and, and label it. So the ions, they form a zero charge, negative, so 
or one negative, two negative, three negative, one plus, two plus, three plus. We won't talk too much about like the 4a because they can, they don't do ions very often. We'll talk about that a little bit in the uh, in the lab.